everyone, this is Dr. Robinson uh, here to teach you how to actually change defaults and how programs open up. The big issue typically is when you download documents such as PDFs from the internet, they'll open in a browser, which is kind of a pain in the neck if you want to be able to do something with them. Uh, and this is how you do it. So let's just pretend I opened this uh, UEB Braille cheat sheet on the internet and it opened in the browser. And when I first did this, it did because I had just set up my computer brand new and I needed to set up my defaults, which I had not, had not done yet. So uh, if you're using talking software, I just opened this up in my quick access. Mine happens to be Windows 2, excuse me, Windows 3. There we are, there's my file explorer. And if you don't know this yet, if you pin icons to your task bar, uh, you can just combine it with a Windows key and instantly open them. So I opened my file explorer and there's my UEB. So you can go there and with your applications key or a right click, you can go down to open with. So you just want to head straight down to open with. Now my Adobe is there. If it's not there, then you need to go online and download it. But what you need to do, let's say it's not there yet, you need to go down to choose another app and you click on that. Even if this is not set up default and you do see Adobe, don't click on it yet. You need to choose another app. And then you go searching for it in your long list. Even if the list is not popping up yet, you can go ahead and go to more apps. But once you choose Adobe Acrobat Reader DC to open PDFs or whatever you're using, you want to tab to always use this app to open PDF files. I'm going to tell you be very careful here. Kids have accidentally turned all their PowerPoints into words and Excels into browsers. So you really need to make sure this is truly what you want before you check that box. Always use this app to open PDF. But of course, it's easy to correct that. Here's the next thing you need to do. So after you change it there, you're going to hit your set uh, your start key and you're going to go ahead and type in defaults because you do want to change all your default uh, settings and default app settings immediately pops up when I uh, type that in the search box. Now, you have your immediate defaults, Mail and Maps and Windows Player and all of that. I'm going to tab all the way down or go all the way down to Choose Default Apps by File Type. You also have Choose Default Apps by Protocol and Set uh, Defaults by App. So there's many here, but I want you to open Choose Default Apps by File top Type and click there. And this is huge. Okay, so it opens up and oh my gosh, there is every protocol uh, and, you know, extension here. But the big one in is, is going down to actually the PDF. How do you want all your PDFs to open? Uh, and as I flip through here, at BRF is another one. Okay, you're going to need to set your protocols for BRF. Now I have Duxbury Braille Translator. That's what I want opening that. Otherwise, those will say you cannot open either. But go all the way down, H, I'm flicking. Okay, PDF, we're getting closer here. PDF, 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 getting closer, and there we are. So as I go all the way down, you see the uh, PDF. I also want PDX uh, Acrobat readers to open, and I have changed that. If it's not what you want, you just click on that or hit enter on it, and every type of other app opens. Uh, along with the browser. Well, you don't want it to open in a browser because that's the top default because that is the way the computer is set up. Just tab down to what you want. I wanted Adobe. I set it at Adobe and that fixes that. So that is how you tell any program how you want it to open for you no matter where you open it. Okay, I hope that helps and we'll talk to you later on another tech lesson.